Okay guys, so I was editing my video and I realized I didn't really have an intro intro for it. So I wanted to make a quick intro of um, uh, this series that I want to start. It's a shopping with me for your makeup kit series and I'm starting off with the Dollar Tree. Now in this video, I'm like really out of breath because I dropped my mask and uh, I had to use my son's small mask. It wasn't like super, it's like big on him, but it was really tight on me. So I was like super out of breath. So I just wanted to let you guys know that because I am breathing <laughs> really heavy in it. And the material is pretty thick. I don't even know if I have one of those masks down, down here. But yeah, no. I'm Now I carry a ton of masks with me because I don't want that to happen again. It was really hard to breathe. And then I finally got the kids out of the house. So I didn't want to go turn all the way back and then my daughter like cry fall asleep or be cranky and I kind of finish this little video so I went to the Dollar Tree two times um for this video and then I picked up a bunch of stuff I actually have them put away in Ikea um bins right now because um I didn't want it to like collect dust and stuff and then I have a client this weekend so I had to make sure that I cleaned up a little bit um, another thing, I'll have several categories, um, sanitation, organization, tools, emergency kit, and like several categories in the emergency kit area, um, first aid, um, uh, what else, uh, like random makeup finds, small hair kit, what to keep like on hand for emergencies, I mean you don't have to obviously, but it's great if you do have it um small nail kit and then stuff for my client makeup touch-up kits that I give to them when I'm done doing makeup this little string is bothering me so anyways I just wanted to add a little um intro here to this video so that people watching can have an idea of what this is about I think the next one I'm gonna do is either shop miss a like stuff that I personally use or would suggest um and then probably Daiso because I do use a lot of things from there. And it's I'm starting off with like affordable. So affordable places um, that is easy for most of us to get to if you're in the U.S. I think there's a lot of Daisos everywhere. And then Shop Miss A uh, ships statewide. I'm not sure if they ship out of state though. So... This is going to be the first video. I'm going to have the second one um, to... Because this is like a shop with me. Because I'm able to um, go to the store physically. Now you can also order online. But it has to be in bulk. I'll explain that in the second video. Um, to sh So I can um, do like screen recordings and show you. Because I do record off of my phone. And then... Um, yeah, so this is the first part of a two-part video so next week i'm hoping to upload um to show you physically what i use how i use it and explain the product um, and why i like it or don't most of the time if i don't like something i'm not going to keep it in my kit um so yeah i just wanted to throw that in there hopefully everything makes sense i had to run down here and record this because everybody is sleeping and i didn't want to make any noise so if i'm talking really fast it's because i'm trying to hurry up and get done so i can go and lay down but if you're new here thanks for watching my makeup videos are probably what um people want to see more of right now but i'm really into vlogging like my family stuff at the moment but i will try to get more makeup content every Friday, um, if possible. So, thanks. Um, listen, listen. I love you guys. I love you too. Here's a suggestion to get um, Ziploc bags for like touch-up kits or dirty brushes or things that you need to separate to keep sanitary. They have all kinds of Ziploc bags. These mats right here. Um, I use them to dry my brushes on after I clean them, or you can set up your makeup on them. I usually get the black ones, but they're out of the black ones, it looks like. Either or soap. I think this dark one. This dark one, is, I think this dark one is um, 
stronger. So you get 207 milliliters, seven ounces. And I use those two clean brushes with. If you're trying to carry like a few things in your kit for hair, I like this one to do like all the baby hairs or this one. And you can put it in a smaller container and carry it around. That way if it expires, it's okay, it's only a dollar. You can find elastics here to toss in your little hair kit. So bobby pins, these hair donuts, I keep a couple in my kit because you never know. Here's black bobby pins, gold, and then they have these brown ones. I think I have all three in my kit. The elastics, and then, well these are the elastics. I have a bunch of these in my kit. And then these are always good to have. They have the goodie brand. So these combs, I feel like they come in super handy in your kit to part and then just comb through someone's hair. These mirrors, I really like these. I actually need another one for my personal makeup kit. These fans are good if you don't have an electric fan to just fan the model or your client for things to dry quick. Another thing that's really great to keep in your kit are lint rollers. You just never know. So there's this one. They have the handheld mirrors. I usually will buy it from here because they do break a lot. These diaper disposable bags are really good for uh, to keep in your kit for garbage bags. But I use the doggy bags. But that's another option wipes for your um just to clean your hands off and stuff i'm actually gonna get a couple for my car for my daughter i do stock up on these tissues you can get the kleenex brand or like this brand that comes with more i mean it's just a tissue you're what just wiping things up so an emergency kit i would pack this and this so i'm gonna get these two to show you guys how I do a little emergency kit. And then these. Always great to have these on hand, like one extra in case like a model needs it. If you work with male talent a lot, then maybe get this one. So here's where you wanna do like your little first aid. Tylenol, Advil. Body lotion is something you should be carrying in your kit for your clients or talent. Here's another suggestion um, for lips, for talent. These are cool. Probably get this to throw in my emergency kit. I do carry razors in my kit. These are great to carry in your kit for talent. Of course, these, I actually need to get a little bit for my daughter. And then I also carry these, but I have a bunch already. These are cool because it comes with its own little container. Usually they have like bigger cosmetic pouches. Oh, like this. And I'll take it apart and give it to the client after I do their makeup for touch-up kits. Oh yeah, here's the first aid packs that I carry. It has band-aids, like it's very um, minimal. Band-aids, I'm gonna grab one of these. And then I always stock up on the toothpick, the flosses. Really good to have. Oh, they have black ones. Cool. These are cool to carry in your kit. They always have really different things here. Um, but one thing I do stock up on. Oh, they changed them. These wedges. Oh, they're really different now. I'm gonna try one and compare it to the ones that I already have. Okay. Oh, they have mirrors. 
these new mirrors. It's only one sided though. So I stock up on these mirrors and I take the stickers off and um, put it in my kit for touch, bridal touch up. I feel like this is such a throwback. Does anybody remember these? I feel like I used to have like every color. I'm gonna get these for my nieces. No. I kind of try to stay away from any skincare stuff because I don't know too much about it. Even these nail polish removers are good to keep on hand. There's some good things about using this soap for soap brows. My sister started doing it and she said it works pretty good. I just bought me a hand sanitizer, like a spray bottle one. So I think this is really good to have in your kit. What are these? Oh cool, citrus hand sanitizer. I'm actually going to try this one. And then I used to stock up on these. I have a lot of these. I have these pump spray bottles. These plastic palette knives. Good place to stock up on pens and notebooks and calendars and post-it notes these are good to jot down notes if you don't have your phone or don't want to take your phone out they have these for touch-up kits they're zipper seal bags 40 of them for a dollar These would be good for like little touch-up kits. These are in the baby shower section. These are great to hold little bits and bobs. I have a few of these. This is the first time I found this. I hope I can find a few more. These are perfect for disposables. It has like a Muji vibe found these little jars you can put product in too they're glass though I have a few of those these I thought you could store brushes in here they're for paint brushes I bought a couple of these you can put like soiled brushes in here these are a good idea to grab for documents these are randomly placed here, but these would be good for like disposables to put product in so you can double dip with your brush. They're shot cups. Cough drops are good to have on hand. This um, emergency is good. There's some Vaseline up there. Here's some alcohol. 70 percent i'm gonna get that from advil oh look at these hand sanitizer super cool i'm gonna grab a few of these smart options for antibacterial wet wipes can't ever have enough i love this because it comes with a container that you can put in your kit or for easy storage keep it sanitary and some more disposables these spray bottles work really well. I get this metal one for my hair kit. You should carry like a lotion of some sort in your kit. 
and here's a recognizable brand that's like not a Dollar Tree brand. This looks like it'd be a decent brush to have in your kit. A comb, a white tooth comb. And there's like a gel I usually would get. This is like the ethnic hair area. Okay, so a few comb kits I'd probably grab for myself. Uh, this one's kind of really cheap. You can't go wrong with these ones. And it has a, like a pointed tip so you can part the hair. I'm going to actually grab one of these. I don't care for these colors. These are some of my favorite bobby pins. I'm going to grab a few of them because for my kit and then for myself. Oh, this is cute. These are cute scrunchies for gifts, so I always grab these and like the colors that I like. Really cute. What is this one? This fuzzy one. It's kind of cute. These are good if you're like working in the dark. It's always good to have one like tiny. Um, you can clip onto like your keychain in case you need some light. I just grabbed one of these to see how the work light um, works out. This little girl. <laughs> some guy keeps freaking coughing. It's so gross. Here are the doggy bags that I use for trash bags. Different colors. I usually stick with the black. I'll buy another one. I believe it used to come with more than this. These are really good um, for your little hair kit to put your straightener or hot tools on. Perfect place to stock up on travel. They have these right now. I don't need this because I have a ton, but they have this from Flower. Try that out. Yeah, they totally changed the sponges. They have these small ones right now. Super cool. I'm going to grab two. Those containers for traveling. These are the cotton rounds I use. Here are those glues. I'm going to grab all of them for my touch-up kits. That guy keeps freaking coughing. I need to hurry up and get out of here. Nail stuff. Oh my god, he keeps coughing. Are some kiss polishes. I would grab the red, the clear, and they had a white. This is pretty too. But just to keep in your kit in case.